So the problem just says draw the preferred product. So try this first and then I'll explain it. So notice how it's a triple bond, right? So the first thing that will happen is the HG will attack the triple bond. So we will have the triple bond um, become a double bond, right? Alkene, HG is attached right here and the positive charge is attached at the secondary carbon. Because remember, this one right here is attached to two carbons. This one over here is attached to one. So the positive charge would form at the most substituated, which in this case is the secondary. And also has resonance, so this would be the more stable form. Um, so now what can happen is the water will come by and attack this positive charge. So you'll have water with a plus charge over here, and then another water can steal the hydrogen and then give the electrons to the oxygen, therefore making an alcohol. Now we're not done because of that H2SO4. H2SO4 will get rid of the mercury, right? It'll get rid of Hg. And we'll be left with this enol, which is a alkene, right? A double bond next to an alcohol. So this isn't its most stable form, right? So it will continue to do resonance. So H2SO4 will, um, well, this alkene will attack the H2SO4 and then therefore have the hydrogen attached therefore creating a positive charge on the secondary carbon. Now with that said, um, the oxygen will do resonance right with that positive charge and therefore, and see how in this equilibrium, this is preferred, right? Because resonance is preferred over this uh, positive charge. So uh, after this happens, this is preferred. And so we'll get this product, right? And this HSO4, right? This HSO4 comes from the fact that we used up one hydrogen to attack this double bond, so we're left with HSO4 and that minus, and that will attack the hydrogen, and the hydrogen's electrons will go to the oxygen. So the final product will actually look like this. It will, it will be the hydrogen leaving and then giving its electrons to the oxygen, so now you have a carbonyl. Um, technically, you can memorize that whenever you have an enol, right, which is a um, double bond next to a alcohol, it will just, you can kind of just push the double bond right here, get rid of the hydrogen, and then you'll end up with this product. But if you understand the mechanism, then you, you don't have to worry about um, forgetting how to do this. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.